welcome back. It's still our family focused talk show today with John and Helen on Plus TV Africa. And next is a new addition to the program. It's a called Global Real Estate and Housing Solutions with M.I. Okoro and Associates. He's a real estate guru and he is here himself. You're welcome, sir. You're welcome, sir. Thank you very much. Good morning. Good morning, viewers. Good and morning. he's also being joined by um, Chine Dumbakwe, Chine Dumbakwe yes. who is a partner at MI Okoro and Associates. Chinedu, how are you? I'm very fine. Good morning and good morning, viewers. It's good to see both of you because I have myriads of questions rolling yeah. in my head. <laughs> so, Helen, Helen, can I shoot first? Please go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, it, it's uh, heartwarming now that we you know you bring solutions to an area that is so important you know to the peace unity and general well-being like you say of uh, nigerians all over the place now we we want to ask you a few questions about you know the way you've been able to manage with the ha ah, the surge humongous <laughs> like to say humongous search for property by nigerians have you been managing this? Well, um, you see, real estate is one of the critical factors of uh, production. And uh, no human being all over the world can exist without a shelter over, over his head. Um, no doubt there have been a lot of um, pressure on demands, unfortunately, with scarce resources to back up. Uh, talking about Naira and Kobo this time around, mm -hmm. you know, so people, everybody wants accommodation, uh, no matter the level, you know, either for industrial, for residential, and for other office uses. But the truth is, an average Nigeria who wants accommodation, a shelter over his head, mm -hmm. like you would like uh, clothing and fitting, has no money to do so. Less than. I mean, not up to 60% uh, 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 or 50% of uh, the Nigerian population can boast of shelter over their head. Right. So that is why it becomes very, very, very critical at this point to begin to think about ways we can bring solutions, mm. particularly to um, the financial aspect of it, you know, to assist those who would want to have their houses either as investment mm. or as residences. Okay. Yeah. As investment or as residences. Because yeah. um, uh, people are talking about multiple streams of income. Yeah. And uh, property development and property ownership and all of that seem to come tops now, yeah. you know, how to, in terms of um, raising money. Mm -hmm. um, so we're going to be heavy on how to ensure that as many Nigerians as are possible, whether they have available cash right now or not, are able to key into the scheme that you're so used to, yeah. you know, helping families and corporate organizations achieve that. Let me ask um, <laughs> my gentleman Chine, here, yeah. Chinedu. Oh, so financing is key. How does MI Okura and Associates probably help someone who wants you know, to acquire their properties and um, are unable to source the money themselves. Well, he, he, like he, he mentioned, the property is one of the most important things for humanity. So, and um, it's important that um, once anybody wants to get anything like property, mm. the, the issue is usually with finance. Yeah. So, and we've um, gone extra mile in, um, because of our huge experience in the real estate business to partner with a whole of um, financial institutions. So currently we have um, a, a very wonderful package with um, Polaris Bank mm -hmm. and um, where we provide um, a whole of um, finances for those that really want to acquire properties. Because the one thing is to have a demand for a property. The next thing is to have the finance to yes. be able to take care of the, 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 the demand. So what we've been able to do is to go into a very um, lengthy and um, very good um, relationship with, with the bank where um, whoever that wants um, a property and he needs finance, what he just needs to do is to make available his 20% equity contribution, 
where the bank will come in and um, finance the other um, 80 percent you, you make it sound so easy to get this yes it, it is easy <laughs> it, it, it is, is easy. Easy. particularly where you are short of your own end, cash flow i mean if you're a working class uh, uh, person for instance and you're earning salary all you need to do is to approach the bank we will assist you to do that facilitate it they'll take you to the bank and the bank will look at uh, your inflow. inflows mm. And once it can sustain your continuous contribution to the mortgage repayment, yeah. it's good to go. And you stand as your team? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, not, not that we can stand as your team, but the property that we're going to sell to you will be collateralized for the amount you are borrowing from the bank. And the most important thing is your ability to pay, mm -hmm. to repay as of when. Because the bank will give you close to between five, six, seven, up to ten years, depending on your age, depending again on your uh, okay. cash flow yeah. and uh, your credibility rating. A lot goes into that. A lot of consideration, but the truth is that it is a reality. If it's not a reality, we cannot come to the television and be telling people that it is possible. Yeah. All you need to do is to test. We have quite a lot of properties in the market. Yeah. I'm sure uh, my colleague. Mm, we'll, we'll, we'll get yeah. into that. We'll, we'll, we'll get into it, that. I'm, an an I'm particularly, sure. um, you know, happy that we are able to get Ebay Okoro himself into our studios. Mm -hmm. Okay, and the reason is this: he's someone that is best described as a mobile target. Mm -hmm. a mobile <laughs> target. Is, <laughs> but, but, I knew that. <laughs> <laughs> but the question is this, sir. Yeah. I mean, jokes apart, now. The question is this. Now, um. We agree that your sector has is well organized, sure. you know, associations, you know, checks and counter checks yeah. and all of that. Yeah. But could you tell us something about this deluge yeah. of cowboys in your industry now? Because I could walk out onto the streets now and I say, hey, I'm a realtor. There's so many of them. They come to us. So how, are, how, are do you, yeah. how do you sift? You yeah. know the, the the shaft from the, <laughs> the real the, the, the mm. yeah. Well, the truth is that um, by the time you talk to a non-professional, nobody will tell. Even his comportment, mm. his body language, okay. we tell you that he's there to make money to eat. You understand? He's yes. not providing professional services. Service. Mm. For instance, I have been in this profession for over thirty-three years, mm. unbroken. As a fellow of Nigerian Institution of Physics and so on, as a matter of fact, I'm an authority, having been a member of the Council of Nigerian Institution of Physics for various and various. Mm. So you will agree with me that we have a limit to which we can get ourselves involved in an unprofessional act. Mm. So the best way to segregate those boys that, yeah, in every profession, even in law profession, you have the so-called quacks. Do you understand what I mean? The all, all comers. The, 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 the profession. Mm. So you cannot wipe them out completely. Mm. But I think the best way to wipe them out is for us who are the professionals yes. to do the right thing. To show your professionalism. Also, when you show professionalism, yes. the non-professionals will take ideas. They will fall by the wayside. <laughs> yeah, you cannot get broke. Can give room to start sweeping them away. <laughs> Just show what you are. Mm -hmm. Treat your customers right, and make sure you exhibit integrity in all your actions. Mm. Then we are good to go. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, this is a segment that has come to stay on this um, show, and what well, we're doing yes, today yes. is setting the agenda. Sure. You know, getting the viewers to know that every week they have very valuable information coming from here and pointing to the direction where they need to go sure. to own their homes and probably um, add value to their pockets, if I can use that word. So but, uh, if you look around us, government also have schemes. Sure. You know, they have shelter and arrangements and all kinds of arrangements. Yes. Are you, is MIO, I am MIO Koro, you know, working together with the government? Yeah. Well, well, what we have decided to do this time around before coming out public again, you will agree with me that I've been on the national television for like many years. You know, now 
but we took a break. But this time we have come back. stronger <laughs> than it was before. Bigger, uh, bolder. We're going to collaborate with the government. Okay. We're going to collaborate with the private sectors. We are also collaborating with the financial institutions. Mm. My colleague here has mentioned Polaris Bank. Mm. Uh, we started with them. And um, with them, I'm sure, we're organizing the, even the developers. And then we're going to work with the buyer, that is the final consumers. Mm. So we're going to bring the developers, the buyers, and the bank financial institution together to create values so every party is happy. All right. And then we get government to assist to do necessary regulations that will make this thing happen. Okay. Unfortunately, the primary mortgage institutions are not doing much. The federal mortgage institution is not also doing much in the area of providing necessary funding for acquiring houses. Okay. So that is why we are coming out as a private sector driven arm of, you know, within our built environment mm -hmm. to ensure mm -hmm. that we bring all parties on the table. Okay. to make sure everybody is happy for it. All right, Emma, yeah. all about solutions. A final yeah. word from uh, your partner, please. I, I hear you're not going to be here every week, so next week he will sit in for you. Yes, I can, so, also, I can also be here next week. Okay. But if any time I'm not around, he will be here. He's, a, He's a mobile Excellent. Time. Excellent. <laughs> Excellent. But just before, before that, uh, I, 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 I'll be happy to say mm. that we have this interesting piece of real estate in Lake Fish 1. Where we have, I'm just saying this for the working or medium class, mm -hmm. working class mm -hmm. people, that mm -hmm. we have about 30 units of two bedrooms and one bedroom luxury apartment going on. You were there, you yes. saw it physically. Yes. 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 About 90% completed just off um, uh, Freedom Way mm -hmm. in Lakey, mm -hmm. very close to the Visa Collection Center, mm -hmm. you know, in Lakey Fish mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So people can key into this kind of and we have the mortgage facility also there okay. and there's another place we took you just yeah. uh, at the <coughs> cartel there mm. uh, a last one me area of a cartel several yeah, walking walking distance to lake where well, we have about 17 units okay. of right. four bedroom terrace houses almost at completion uh, stage you were there yeah you know so we are using this opportunity to call on people the prospective buyers the prospective employers of labor who may want to assist their uh, staffers yes, to key mm. into these things. Call us. Right. Uh, very soon you'll be able to we give will, them yeah. their we'll numbers mm. and they will be able to organize finance for them to okay. reach out to uh, acquiring these properties. All right. Right. I hope that includes okay. me. Everybody. Emma, thank you so much for taking time out to be with us mm. on um, the show today. From okay. next week, we will do a better yes. you know, presentation of all of the facilities that you have sure. and how people can reach you sure. quickly to begin to um, benefit from yeah. these um, services. Yeah. Thank you once again. Thank, Thank you. you. You're welcome. Thank okay. you. Yeah. All right. Thank you. It's um, still today with John and Helen. Another break beckons, and when we return, Pharaoh will be here. Please don't go away.